And don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello there. All right. I just watched the Netflix movie, I guess, the brand new uh, 2022 Scrooge A Christmas Carol. Now, they make one or two of these every year. So, honestly, I haven't seen very many of them. One, most of the time, I realize that they're, they modernized A Christmas Carol, and they always put it in modern times, I guess. <laughs> I'm assuming at this point, because I, I, after I found one that I watched on VHS, show my age, VHS for a really long time, and I would just like watch it every year. I kind of, I kind of stuck with it. It's, of course, it's a musical. Uh, yeah, I gotta say, I like how they didn't change the Thank You Very Much song. I gotta say that I'm a huge fan of that one, and the second it came up, I started singing the original lyrics before, uh, they, they changed it up a bit, but it wasn't too, uh, badly butchered so it was okay um the two most iconic songs for me were when scrooge is basically the he has no reason or he has his reasons as to why he doesn't like the seasons or the season his his reasons so i was like i like that song and then i like the song where he's basically uh doesn't want his past self to give up on uh, isabel i like those songs um the story I liked. I enjoyed it. it. Of course, it's the same thing over and over again. Some of the lines I kind of wish they kept from the classic. Like one of the most iconic scenes I remember from, I think it was the uh, 1980s one, where uh, his uh, Jacob, his, his partner, brings out the chain. The chain is like huge and basically bragging about how Scrooge's chains are his own chains can't even hold a candle to the way Scrooge's are. Also, one thing in the beginning, Scrooge is supposed to be, like, completely cold-hearted, stubborn. He's closed himself off to everyone in the world. I didn't like how when he saw Cratchit at the very beginning and he took five shillings away from him because of the ink that spilled, you could see guilt in his eyes. I was not... I didn't like that. It should have just... He should have just turned around and walked into the building as we're stuck watching the... Uh, we would feel emotion for the, the Cratchit family. We would see Scrooge turn around in the window and walk away as if he doesn't care, and we would get the emotional impact. And then we'll see Scrooge start to get emotionally impacted when he realizes, well, he destroyed the Cratchit's family just because of... And then I did like how they uh, kind of showed present and past at the same time, like when he found out that uh, it was his partner, Jacob, that ruined the Cratchit family in the first place. And now he has the Cratchit son. So it, I did like all that nice, in, in it, I enjoy it. I've always enjoyed A Christmas Carol. I've always refused to really rewatch them because, or the new ones, because when something's perfectly done the first time around, you don't really care to watch it be butchered. Because I think I have seen it a few times with different actors playing the role. Because it's still been uh, so many times, but they modernized it. Like, uh, crap. Uh, Murray? Bill Murray? Is that, is that his name? <laughs> I can't believe I forgot his name. Yeah. When they did it with him. Or, uh, crap. What's that other guy? The I can't, I can't remember his name. But they, they modernize it too much. And I just don't care for that. They show me Scrooge in the iconic Scrooge fashion the uh, the carriages horse-drawn carriages they just all that time period don't give me cell phones and moving cars and <laughs> yeah i gotta say my favorite my favorite uh thing of the you know the the christmas past christmas present christmas future it was the christmas past that was the the funniest right there uh christmas present was meh one thing i did have con was confused on is apparently christmas present and Christmas Future are one and the same person. Is that what they were going for? Or does Christmas Future eat Christmas Present? Um, I'm confused because that was the one thing. I was hoping that basically he would be swallowed by a void and then Christmas Future basically takes over instead of him transforming into Christmas. Because it made me think that Christmas present has a split personality or is just bipolar, completely flips on a dime. I mean, there's just, <laughs> that's the one thing I was just like, I'm confused here. Uh, but other than that, I mean, I, I enjoyed it. it. It really is a fun 
new way of doing it. Cause I did like every time he would see something in either the, pr uh, past, present, or future, it would, the, the reality would like shatter with aspects of past, present, or future, depending on how it was related to one another. Uh, I, I enjoyed that. Uh, yeah. Scrooge, A Christmas Carol 2022, since they make one almost every year. Thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time. Doodles.